The sit command is the basis and the foundation for all other lessons that you need to teach a dog to be an excellent dog in the field, in the hunt test, or in the field trial. We're going to begin with some simple lessons here and we're going to teach you how to teach the sit command. Now this lesson can be taught at any age in a dog, like any dog. Do not believe the old adage that an old dog cannot learn new tricks. We want to begin teaching puppies when they're young so that they can learn through and through for the rest of their lives. So if you pick a puppy up at seven weeks, that puppy should recognize his own name at about nine weeks. At nine weeks of age, you can begin training the puppy when he recognizes his or her own name. So right now, these two dogs are trained and they well know the sit command. However, I'm going to take them through the rudimentary steps and show you what you can do with your puppy or your older dog so you can teach a sit command too. The simple tools needed to teach a sit command are a leash and all I'm using is a piece of rope and a collar. Now many people advocate the use of a, of a pinch collar or perhaps the use of a choke chain. I tend not to use these as, as a lot of people like the signal to the dog that he's going to be restrained for healing or for sitting. And they like the idea that the choke, can, the choke chain begins to tighten on the dog's neck and the dog begins to modify his behaviors ahead of the command. I tend not to like that and I like to surprise the dog. So what I like to do is I like to have a solid collar on the dog so that when I tug on him he feels it immediately and then I know precisely when the force is applied to the dog and I can time the command to match that. So I'm going to walk this dog right now and I'm going to show you how to apply gentle forces and reinforcement to the dog in order to teach him the sit command. I recommend if you do this with a puppy especially or any dog that you do it maybe six times and then stop. And then if you could recycle this six time process maybe three times per day within a week your dog will be sitting on voice command. And after that we introduce whistle. Sit. Take note that when I lift up on the leash, I push down on the rear end of the dog. So two forces are being applied to raise the dog's head up and to push his back end down. This positions the dog in a sit position. As you're applying these forces, you say the word sit and soon enough the dog will correct his behavior and modify his behavior that when you don't have to apply these forces, when you say the word sit, the dog will sit. So let's have another look at this and there's a key lesson here. When I tell this dog to sit, as I move away from the sit position, I tell the dog to heal. The lesson here is that your dog must not break the sit command when he's an older dog ever. So what we want you to do is even when he's a puppy, we need to get the dog conditioned that he doesn't leave the sit command without a command from you. Now you can either say hi on, hunt them up, fetch it up, whatever you choose to say. But as he's walking beside me, I choose to say the word heal. So never let your dog break sit without a command. We're gonna do it once more, and then I'm gonna introduce the whistle. Heal, sit. When you introduce the dog to the whistle, after you apply the force and get the dog to sit on the sit command, right after you say the word sit, Blow the whistle once. One toot on the whistle equates sit down. Okay, a brief summary of sit command. The sit command is the most important command. Lift up on the dog's neck, push down on the rear end, say the word sit. After you reinforce this, after a week or so, after you say the word sit when you apply the force, then toot the whistle just once. And this will transition the dog from voice command to whistle command and you will have a dog that reliably sits on whistle. The dog will do this beside you. So after a while let the dog run around and when he's four, five or six feet from you toot the whistle and at the same time by the way in order to train dogs fully we like to do a whistle command, a voice command and a hand command. The hand signal for sit is a flat palm presented to the dog. So when the dog sits by himself and you don't have to you push down on the rear end of the dog, show the dog the palm of your hand as he sits and as you toot the whistle once. And then later in the field, if 
perhaps you're jump shooting a pond and you don't want to scare ducks and your dog is moving and you might want the dog to sit down, instead of tooting the whistle or saying sit and spooking the game and losing it, you just show the dog the palm of your hand and the dog will sit. And I'll display that for you right now. Please take note. This dog is not moving from the sit position when he feels like it. He will move from the sit position when I give him the command. And I'm going to give him the high on command at this point in time. High on. Now the dog broke sit because I gave him a release command. The dog sat on hand signal. I'll release the dog again. Cal, high on. Cal, here. The dog approaches, Cal, he sits on the hand command. So, to briefly discuss it again, teach a dog to sit by applying force. Couple a voice command with the application of force. Substitute the voice command for the hand signal and the whistle signal, and you have a dog that will obey three different stimulus for one behavior. Sit, sit. Another tactic for teaching the sit command is the use of a treat. Now what I tend to use is either a little piece of meat fried up or just the regular dog food that the dog would eat normally. So what you would do is have the food in your hand and as the puppy is standing up, approach the puppy's face with the food and as the puppy reaches for it, lift it up and up above his head. So as the dog sits back, he will sit down and right when he sits down, give him the food, say the word sit, and then give him the hand sit command. Sit. Good girl. Good. Sit. Good girl. This is another puppy friendly way of teaching the sit command and takes no force, but a combination of this and the other method I've shown you are great tools to introduce sit to the dog.